Good morning, my brothers and sisters, Rock Church, YouTube, and those who are on Twitter. This is Pastor Robert Louis Stevenson. This is Wondrous Wednesday. It's so good to be with you all this morning. I pray that the word of God will go forth and that you will accept it as how God has given it to us as the word of God. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we come this morning. We thank you for another day. We thank you, God. This is the day that you have made. Your word tells us we ought to rejoice and be glad in it. Father, I pray that as our heart will be receptive to your ramming word. God, I, I also pray that we'll be willing, God, to uh, initiate our faith based on the word of truth. May you be glorified in Jesus' name. Let God's people say amen. Brothers and sisters, good to be with you all this morning. This is Wondrous Wednesday. In fact, this is what, June the 15th? Uh, 2022, we on day 165, this 165 consecutive days we've been into God's word. Guess what? We only got two more, 200 more days to go. <laughs> Come on, somebody. It's good. It's good. It's good. Listen, let's get in the word of God. As you see the title this morning, we see the title, Jesus himself shared his faith. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. So we've been talking about it, man, for a couple of weeks now. Evangelism is not a choice. It is actually a command. And we've been talking about just building up and understanding, sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ with the world. You know, we know what the message is. The message goes forth. It doesn't change. It is so cool to know that it's never changed since the time God inspired man to write his word. And because it won't change... The only thing I believe that needs to change is our perspective on sharing the gospel. We need to have the perspective to go forward, okay? So what we talked about on Solitude Saturday, we talked about making the most of every opportunity. God has given us opportunity. We must make the most of that. We must share the gospel. Hey, then on Solitude, uh, on a Sanctified Sunday, we shared that the reason that we make the most of every opportunity because the days are evil. We know the days are evil. We see it. We want to be proactive then reactive. We want to get out there and share the gospel. And then on Marvelous Monday, we talked about the reason why is because we've been entrusted with the mysteries of God. See, hey man, Satan had no idea that Jesus was already predicted about coming and being put on the cross. Had he known that, he wouldn't have never did it, okay? Now we know that we've been entrusted with this message, the mysteries of God. Oh my God, it's no longer a mystery, but it's a mystery to those who have not received the word of God. It was a mystery to me before I became a Christian. So it's just what I did not understand and what I did not know. Now we've been given the mandate by the word of God to go forth and tell the beautiful mystery of God. And then, of course, Terrific Tuesday, we're talking about living life worthy of the gospel. He says, whatever happens, conduct yourself in a manner worthy of this good old mystery. Come on, somebody. The mystery, the thought of just Jesus down on the cross for us. So, brothers and sisters, as we look at the Roman word on this wondrous Wednesday, I'm going to show you how beautiful this is. Jesus is just not talking about, hey, man, I want you to do something that I wouldn't have done. Jesus also showing us in the word of God that he shared his faith. Come on now, turn your Bibles over to Matthew chapter 9 and verse 35. The Bible says Jesus went through all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming, come on, he, uh, in other words, he was announcing publicly what? The good news of the kingdom and healing every disease and sickness. Brothers and sisters, look at the word of God. The word Jesus, he went, he went forth. He, he just like he told us to go, he went himself. He put his faith, come on somebody, on the road, okay? Wherever he went, he went to churches. The synagogues, man, that means they were in some of these churches did not have the, didn't know the truth. He brought the truth. Look at the word of God. He was teaching in their fight. He was teaching in their church. The good news of the kingdom 
And the good news of the kingdom, boy, come on, somebody. Not only he was sharing, he was healing every disease and sickness. So here's what he do. He's proclaiming this good news, all right? And, and, and we see, we see that something that has happened when this good news is shared. So the meaning of the good news of the kingdom of God that Jesus proclaimed, right? That means that Jesus called forth a whole new way of thinking, okay? They were thinking one way, okay? They was living one way. He's calling forth a whole new way of thinking and living and being under the righteousness, graciousness, gracious ring of God. They now, they had, they had not known just the righteousness of God. Now he's telling them about this kingdom that you should reign under God, okay? And then he said, listen, when you watch, when you watch, when you look at God's word, you can see how Jesus was what? He did what his father sent him to do based on the word of God. So now when Jesus, when people will hear the call of Jesus, he's just not telling them what? simply feel sorry for their sins, he's telling them it's time for them to repent of it. The same thing we've been talking about, brothers and sisters. There's two things that he really tried to do to mankind. He tried to persuade people to accept the message that what he believed very strongly. What was the message? The good news of the kingdom of God. Why was that? Because he believed the spiritual realms over which God reigned as king, come on, and the fulfillment on earth of God's will. God had a will of fulfillment that he used Jesus, but the message is true, all right? We see this in the word of God. If you look in Luke chapter 4, verse 18 and 19, Jesus clearly states why he's here. Based on the word of God, he sent me to proclaim liberty to the captives. And to recover, watch this, of the sight of the blind. And to let the oppressed go free. And to proclaim a year acceptance of the Lord. These words encapsulates cl clearly to me what Jesus' mission was all about. Today, you've been set free. Today, you're no longer oppressed. Today, you can see you're no longer blind. See, when you accept this, this great gospel that Jesus died on the cross and was buried on the third day, he raised with all power, you accept the message, you no longer live like you used to live based on what you understand, okay? Come on, somebody. Now, I just want to ask you, are you ready to release your faith this wondrous Wednesday knowing that Jesus himself shared his faith? You ought to say amen. Okay, how do we do that, okay? How do we release our faith? On, on this Wonders Wednesday. We keep it simple, saints, by embracing the fact that Jesus told his disciples in Matthew 24, 14, the gospel of the kingdom shall be preached to all the world. That's what Jesus said. Brothers and sisters, look. Look at the scripture. Go back and look at it. He sent them forth to preach. And he sent him just as we have been sent based on Matthew 28 to go and make disciples. So I, I, I didn't make none of this up. This is not something that's new. It is something that is not being preached. And we can see, man, look, look, brother, we all we got to do is just cut on the news. The devastation, the violence, the oppressed. There are people that are oppressed with mental health. There are people can't even afford to pay their rent. There are people that's living in unhealthy relationships. We can see it by their behavior. Is that not enough to go forth and say what God has given us the ability to say, to do what God has given us the tools to do it with. Hey, this is the word of God. This is a mandate before God. I just think there's some skewed vision, some skewed thoughts in our behaviors and our actions as the whole body of Christ, all the mega churches. All the small churches. If we just if we just came together as a revival 
of going out. I'm not talking about a revival. All oh, we all come in and all the other. No, no, I'm talking about a revival or hitting the streets. Cause yes, hey man, prayer is prayer is is not an option. We must pray. Sharing this gospel is not an option. We uh, uh, option. We must share it. I just I just pray, man, that each one of us who hear this message take the challenge. Because if Jesus said go, we need to go. Because he went through all the towns and villages, even into the synagogues, to share the kingdom of God. To let them know that God's word is going to reign. It's going to give us a way of living different and thinking differently. It's still the same today. It ain't changed. It's all up to us as the body of Christ to go and share, to be an example People trying to figure out how things are going to change. It don't change until the word is preached. It's gone out. It's lived out. That's what this is about. It's not about just having devotions every day. It's about changing the way that we think and the things that we are called to do. Or we're just wasting our time. And I promise you, I'm not here to waste my time for the kingdom of God. Because the kingdom has not wasted its time on me. You ought to say amen. Father God, we bless you this wondrous Wednesday. We have blessed you, God, for showing us the example of the heart of our Lord Jesus Christ. Your son, who came down from heaven, who showed us that he walked the byways and the highways of life. He went into all the villages and the towns that you directed him to, into the synagogue. To help people to understand that you have a gospel that rings. And it will ring out that we may be thinking different, living different. And he took his disciples aside and he sent them to go forth. Because he told them the gospel of the kingdom shall be preached to all the world. God, I pray that we who have accepted this message ourselves... That God, that we have found liberty. We're no longer captive. We're no, no, no longer blind. We, 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 we have the oppression, oppression of what, Jesus, what, what the enemy tried to do to us. We call forth and declare and decree our salvation in the year of the Lord's favor, this jubilee. God, I thank you allowed us to recover what was taken from us. You allowed us to recover the lies, God. We no longer have to live in them lies. We, we recover. Now we live in truth. And we get to speak truth. We get to speak the truth, God, each and every day. And I pray that we know and we remember that to make the most of every opportunity. Because these days are evil. That we've been entrusted with the beautiful mysteries of God. The great message of salvation should change the world that we live in. And God, I pray as if changing us, let us have, God, so much more compassion for others. May you be glorified on this wondrous Wednesday. In Jesus' name, let God's people say amen. Y'all just been kissed on this wondrous Wednesday. Brothers and sisters, come on now. Let us keep moving on the way that God is directing us. You know what? We're going to be out on the streets today. You don't want to miss it. Come on out there. Come on out there with us, man. Put on some red. It's going to be hot out there, and the word of God going to go fire. It's going to be fire because we want to quench every flaming arrow of the devil because he has no reign over what God has set up. If Jesus can share his faith, how much more the body of Christ should. This is Pastor Robert Louis Stevenson. I love you. Have no doubt in your mind that you at the right place at the right time because you served the right God and accepted the right gospel message to go forth for the rest of your life. Be encouraged. I love you. Have a great day in Jesus.